Hey guys, this is Joe Valen with Millennium. I've got a whole bunch of toys in front of me today. We got uh, some cleavers that we're going to put them to test and see which one can have the uh, best average cleave. I really think the best cleave results in the best splice. A good splice machine can't necessarily fix a bad cleave, but a good cleave can be spliced by a bad splicer. So hopefully this uh, is some useful information to help you build some nice cases out there uh, with some low loss. We got the workstation all cleaned up. All right, here's some things that we learned. One, these two automatic cleavers, um, they're a little bit inconsistent relative to a traditional cleaver. Um, the other lesson with the CT50, if you're not using this clip, you average about 0.3 degree higher angles on every single cleave. So I recommend using that clip. I know we all want to kind of, uh, cut corners to cleave faster. And then um, the FC6 ended up being our grand champion, was very consistent, hands down the lowest cleave angle out there. Everybody's got preferences on your uh, cleaver that you're using. A good cleaver will work with a bad splice machine. A bad cleave, doesn't matter how good your splice machine is, it won't be able to fix a bad cleave. So please uh, make sure you're investing in having a good cleaver. I would recommend any of these cleavers that we tested today. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>